Hi everyone, I'm here with today's Bible reading. We're going to begin today with Acts 15, 1 through 35. Some people came down from Judea, teaching the family of believers, unless you are circumcised according to the custom we've received from Moses, you can't be saved. Paul and Barnabas took sides against these Judeans and argued strongly against their position. The church of Anoch appointed Paul, Barnabas, and several others from Anoch to go up to Jerusalem to set this question before the apostles and the elders. The church sent this delegation on their way. They traveled through Phoenicia and Samaria, telling stories about the conversion of the Gentiles to everyone. Their reports thrilled the brothers and sisters. When they arrived in Jerusalem, the church, the apostles, and the elders all welcomed them. They gave a full report of what God had accomplished through their activity. Some believers from among the Pharisees stood up and claimed, The Gentiles must be circumcised. They must be required to keep the law from Moses. The apostles and the elders gathered to consider this matter. After much debate, Peter stood and addressed them. Fellow believers, you know that early on God chose me from among you as the one through whom the Gentiles could hear the word of the gospel and come to believe. God who knows people's deepest thought and desires confirmed this by giving them the Holy Spirit, just as he did to us. He made no distinction between us and them, but purified their spirit, just as he did to us. He made no distinction between us and them. Deepest thoughts and desires through faith. They then are you now challenging God by placing a burden on the shoulders of these disciples that neither we nor our ancestors could bear. On the contrary, we believe that we and they are saved in the same way by the grace of the Lord Jesus. The entire assembly fell quiet as they listened to Barnabas and Paul describe the signs and wonders God did among the Gentiles through their activity. When Barnabas and Paul also fell silent, James responded, Fellow believers, listen to me. Simon reported how in his kindness God came to the Gentiles in the first place to raise up from them a people of God. The prophet's words agree with this as it is written. After this I will return, and I will rebuild David's fallen tent. I will rebuild what has been torn down. I will restore it so that the rest of humanity will seek the Lord, even all the Gentiles who belong to me. The Lord says this, the one who does these things, known from earliest times. Therefore, I conclude that we shouldn't create problems for Gentiles who turn to God. Instead, we should write a letter telling them to avoid the pollution associated with idols, sexual immorality, eating meat from strangled animals, and consuming blood. After all, Moses has been proclaimed in every city for a long time and is read aloud every Sabbath in every synagogue. The apostles and the elders, along with the entire church, agreed to send some delegates chosen from among themselves to Anoch together with Paul and Barnabas. They selected Judas, Barnabas, and Silius, who were leaders among the brothers and sisters. They were to carry this letter. The apostles and the elders to the Gentile brother and sisters in Antioch, Syria and Salcia, greetings. We've heard that some of our number have been disturbed, you, with unsetting words we didn't authorize. We reached a united decision to select some delegates to send them to you along with our dear friend Barnabas and Paul. These people have devoted their lives to the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, we are sending Judas and Silius. They will confirm what we have written. The Holy Spirit has led us to the decision that no burden should be placed on you other than these essentials. 
refuse food offered to idols, blood, the meat from strangled animals, and sexual immorality. You would do well to avoid such things. Farewell. When Barnabas, Paul, and the delegates were sent on their way, they went down to Anoch. They gathered the believers and delivered the letter. The people read it. Delighted with its encouraging message, Judas and Silas were prophets, and they said many things that encouraged and strengthened the brothers and sisters. Judas and Silas stayed there for a while, then were sent back with a blessing of peace from the brothers and sisters to those who first sent them. Paul and Barnabas stayed in Anoch, where together with many others they taught and proclaimed the good news of the Lord's word. And that, my brothers and sisters, was Acts 15, 1 through 35. Now we're going to read Psalm 141, a Psalm of David. I cry out to you, Lord, come to me quickly. Listen to my voice when I cry out to you. Let my prayers stand before you like incense. Let my uplifted hands be like the evening offering. Set a guard over my mouth, Lord. Keep close watch over the door that is my lips. Don't let my heart turn aside to evil things, so that I don't do wicked things with evil doers, so I don't taste their delicacies. Instead, let the righteous discipline me. Let the faithful correct me. Let my head never reject that kind of fine oil because my prayers are always against the deeds of the wicked. Their leaders will fall from jagged cliffs, but my words will be heard because they are pleasing. Our bones have been scattered at the mouth of the grave, just like when the ground is broken up and plowed. But my eyes are on you, my Lord God. I take refuge in you. Don't let me die. Protect me from the trap they set for me. Protect me from the snares of the evildoers. Let the wicked fall into their own nets all together, but let me make it through safely. And that was Psalm 141, a Psalm of David. And lastly for today is Proverbs 17:23. The wicked take secret bribes to twist the way of justice. And that was Proverbs 17:23. The wicked take secret bribes to twist the way of justice. Okay guys, that was today's Bible reading. I hope it touched your guys' hearts. I hope you guys are having a great start to your week. I hope your week gets better and better. I love you guys. Let's bring those souls to Jesus. And God willing, I'll see you all tomorrow with another Bible reading. Bye, guys.